The folks at WeBoost sent me a Drive Sleek Vehicle Signal Booster Kit to test. I decided to test it in the easiest way possible by not reading the manual. I just followed the stickers that were on all the parts. I did pretty much what anybody would do. And then I tested the signal. Let's see how it all worked out. I started by putting the antenna up on the roof like it says to in the sticker that says steps one and two. I snaked the cable underneath between the hatchback and the rest of the car. This was the easiest part of the entire thing because the gap is way too big. The next thing I did was lay the part that was labeled step three right onto the seat. I know if this were a professional installation, I would have maybe put it under the seat and made it look real nice, but I didn't. I just left it right on the seat. Step four is the lighter socket adapter. And what's really nice about the lighter socket adapter is you do get a USB plug so you can still charge your phone while you have it hooked up, which is really, that's kind of nice, I gotta admit. There's a power cable that goes to the other side of the lighter socket and it plugs right into this hole here on the step three part. Once it's plugged in, well, I had to take a picture of it and it just basically looks like this. Step five is the cradle itself. I guess I was too busy taking pictures of plugging it in to actually take a picture of the cradle, so I'm using this one that I took for the unboxing video. There's a cable at the end of the cradle, and one side connects right to the booster part, the step three part, and you just kind of take the two and you push them right into place. Super easy. Then you take the vent mount and you more or less shove it into one of the blades of the vent. There's a magnetic part that goes on the back. So. Using a stock Android phone and an app called Signal Strength, I plugged it in. And as soon as I plugged it in, this is what I saw. Power jumped up right away. I got a huge boost out of this thing. I was incredibly impressed. I did not think I was going to get this much boost out of it. And the boost stayed for as long as I had it plugged in. As soon as I unplugged the unit, boost went away. But why would you? Honestly, I was super impressed by what I saw here. This was an easy install, even though I didn't go ahead and do all the fine professional stuff that I could have done. It just went really fast, and I would recommend this for anybody who needs extra signal boost anytime they drive.